Do you utilize Dropbox for your file storage? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new signed document. So to do that, we're gonna head up to the top left-hand corner where it says My Forms and we're gonna to head to My Signed Documents. Next is gonna be the green Create Signed Document button. And if you already have a PDF version of the document that you need signed, you can utilize the Upload Document option. But for this example, I'm going to use a template. And to keep things as simple as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and use this simple one-page lease agreement template. Now, one thing I like to do before I start working with a template is just take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see here that everyone in orange is going to be the landlord and everyone in purple is going to be the tenant. If I scroll down here, we see them down here as well. Now, if you are missing any fields in this signed document, it's as simple as our form builder. So if I come over here to the left to the add fields option, if we need their email, I can just drag it in right here. And then if I need to make any changes, maybe of who it's gonna be assigned to, we can do that here as well. But for this example, we are good to go. So I'm gonna head up to this top middle tab settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna utilize integrations. Then from here, we can just do a quick search for Dropbox and we need to authenticate. Next, we need to decide what we want this to look like once it gets inside of our Dropbox. So we can see right here, it says clone of simple one page lease agreement. If we want to change that, we can just say, you know, just the lease agreement right here. And then once it goes inside there, it's going to be called no folder. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use the document fields. And I want it to be the tenant and the leasee's name. But this is good, so let's go ahead and do complete integration and finish. Now let's head up to the send tab right up here and let's give this a test. Now the first thing we need to do here is we need to enter in our tenant's information. Now if I hit send to sign right now, both of these people are going to get the document at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want the landlord to get it first, be able to pre-fill and populate everything in. And then once they're done signing, the tenant can sign. In order to do this, we just need to turn on a signing order. And if we need, we can move the people around depending on where they need to be, but we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do send a sign. So let's head to our landlord's email and we'll do review and sign document. And we see we have three fills and it dropped it down to two because it went ahead and populated this for me. So just for the sake of time, I'm just going to jump down here to the bottom to sign and date this. Perfect. Then we'll do sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to our tenant's email and review and sign document. And we have four fields and it dropped it down to two for us. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom, do a quick signature and date, and then sign and complete and accept and send. All right, let's head over to our Dropbox account. And we can see here we have that lease agreement folder that was created for us. And here it is. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, we also have what's called an audit trail. So we get to see where this document went and how long it took in between each stage. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating Dropbox and Jotform Sign, let us know. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification next time we put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.